Hey everybody, we are going to go real quick over um, playlist two for the outsiders. So I'm going to just scroll down here. I went to classwork. I'm going to scroll down here. I find the outsiders playlist two. You'll see a couple of things in um, this topic or in this area. The first thing would be the playlist. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that to open it. It looks like this. Um, I just want to let you guys know before I go ahead and get into what we're going to be doing for this week that um, this is the week of March 8th through the 12th, but we do not have school on Wednesday. So you can see that like for our independent work day, you only have one this week because Wednesday would have been your first independent work day, but we won't be here. Um, the learning goals. Also important to know, we are still focusing on characters and character relationships. So it's kind of, we're just taking it just a little bit further than we did last week because um, character analysis and learning about the characters for this story, but for almost every story is super important um, to understanding what the story is about. So uh, your first learning goal is um, that you can analyze characters and the relationship between characters. The second one, taking it just a little bit step further, is that I will analyze how characters help us understand the theme of the story. Because the characters are so important in this story, um, they are going to be huge or play a huge role in helping us understand what the author is trying to tell us or the moral of the story, the message of the story, which is what the theme is. So we're going to look at that this week. Monday is I ready day. So every Monday you guys are going to be doing I ready. You're going to at least be doing 30 minutes passing a lesson. And then when you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and um, so you at least have to get 30 minutes. That's a little bit different than in weeks past. Um, really what I want you guys to do is try to pass a lesson and get 30 minutes, but um, you at least have to get 30 minutes. And then after you're done with that, you should have about 10 minutes left of class. That is your time to watch this video. So then after you're done, before you, like before we start even on Tuesday, you watch this video on Monday, you know kind of what you need to be doing for the week. And then on Tuesday, we can just start. Um, so just keep that in mind. Tuesday, Thursday is our direct instruction days. And this week, um, it's gonna be just a little bit different uh, because Obviously, last week we were really going through and showing you guys the ropes on a lot of what you needed to do and just to make sure that you were keeping up with the right pace. Sometimes our direct instruction days will not last the whole class time. So I want you to be aware of that when you're like, oh, we only get one independent work day. Like, how am I going to get everything done? Um, you will still have time normally to work on the direct instruction days. These will generally last like 10, 15 minutes and then I'll, so I'll give you what you need to know and then I'll ask you to go and apply it or go and do something with it and then you'll have time to work on um, your playlist or the things that you're supposed to be doing independently. So Tuesday what we are going to do, we're going to read chapter 3 and we're going to review the comprehension questions so that you guys know what you're supposed to be um, looking for in those chapters. Thursday, we're going to do a quick, so this is where I'm saying like it's not going to last the whole hour, a quick intro into what theme is and kind of like have a good discussion about what themes we already see emerging in these chapters um, in this book. And then you'll add to your character map. This maybe will take us like 20 minutes um, tops and then you'll have the rest of the hour to work on your uh, must do's for your independent work. Um, independently, you guys uh, can work or are supposed to read chapter four. And then you also, we already updated the character map, but if like as you read, you wanna update it as you go um, so that you're not trying to do it all at once, that it's, it's a lot easier to break it down if you're just doing it as you get to the characters and as you get to the information. So just make sure you're doing that. Um, you also have a dialectical journal entry in you have comprehension questions for this week. That That is the other thing that is located underneath the Outsiders Playlist 2. If you click on it, you will see same thing like last week. Um, 
you have one dialectical journal entry, so you're going to be looking for a quote in chapters three and four that's really significant. Um, also, you have new a new set of questions, and so I'm just going to read those real quick for you guys so you know what questions you're supposed to be answering. The first question is in chapter three. What does Pony Boy mean when he says that he and Cherry see the same sunset? So what does that mean? Um, two is in chapter four. What happens to Pony Boy and Johnny at the park? And then three, I want you guys to do a race paragraph. So restate and answer the question. Cite text evidence. So you're going to need to actually go into the book and find evidence to support your answer. And then explain that evidence and the answer. Um, do you think, so here's a question. Do you think that Johnny should be held accountable for his actions? And that's in chapter four. So do you think that Johnny should be held accountable for his actions? I also included this space down here for any extra notes. So if you hear something or um, come across something that you're like, oh, that might be important to remember for later, then you can go ahead and just take notes in this section. Um, same thing with the quote. If you don't want to pick a quote until you're done reading the chapters, then you could potentially just copy and paste like a couple of quotes down here and then pick the one that you want to do later. This is kind of for um, those people that I noticed like taking notes or find it very helpful to take notes or just have a good area to collect your thoughts in. So that's what that is. Um, so that is what uh, you will be doing on Friday for independent work, just so you know. Um, may do, so if you get done with all of this, Maydews, um, vocabulary.com, go on here, the outsiders vocab is linked, but you can do any vocabulary set you want to. Um, this helps you get points, so I might end up doing a competition with vocabulary.com um, and seeing how many points you guys can rack up. You can also work on iReady. Newzella has a, several awesome articles that actually go hand in hand with outsiders so it's talking about the same themes or it's talking about the time period something that's going to help you better understand the story so you can go there find those articles and read those the creative writing um the creative writing assignment or activity for this week is what we call a diamante poem and so I'm actually kind of curious to see for those of you guys that do this how well you do at it um because I think it's a really interesting way of breaking down um, two topics. And so because we are working on theme and characters this week, what I want you guys to do for this is for the first noun, pick a character. For the second noun, I want you to pick a theme. And then you're going to go on and fill out the Diamante poem um, like so. So basically the first half of it is all about the character. The middle part is um, like combining uh, combining the character and the theme, and then the second part is about the theme. So basically, you're trying to find a character who can help you better understand that theme. Um, so if you guys have any questions on this, please let me know. Uh, the last thing that I want to tell you guys about, if you are not understanding theme or characters, there are a couple of videos that have been linked here that could be very helpful for you guys. Um, if you're like, oh, I'm not really understanding what you mean by theme, then check out the video. They're not super long, but they are very informational. Uh, oh, and the last thing is right here, I am added instead of doing it solo, which you can just read it, um, but I also am linking Ed Puzzles. So if you click on the link, let's see if it does it. It will take you to a video where you can actually see it on the screen, but it will give you prompting comprehension questions throughout the story. And honestly, a lot of my students that have used this really like it. Um, there's always going to be the question, you're always going to get asked the question that also is on the um, in the comprehension questions on Google Classroom. So you'll already be able to like just really quickly pull that and put it in for those questions. But um, anyway, so that's an option for you guys as you're reading. If you guys have any questions, please let me know.